Hey guys, and welcome back to Cece's Garden. This is Cynthia, and welcome to my channel. So, I was so pleased with the winter sewing jugs that I decided to do two more. <laughs> now, these are going to be for my summer loving plants, which is okra. So, I'm going to try some okra in there. I have longhorn okra. Which gets really big long pods and then I have Louisiana green velvet okra which I have my dirt right here and I'm gonna my soil I'm gonna put them in there I'm gonna tape them up so yes I will be planting them both out there in the garden the other ones are doing really good and I'm gonna put these out kind of where the Sun is really gonna hit them and speaking of the Sun I know people up north are going to be upset to hear this, but our weather is nice today. Now, this morning we woke up below freezing, but now it's in the upper 50s. And, yeah, so I'm going to take y'all outside where y'all can see all my babies. I brought them out so they can get some chlorophyll, some light on them, some, some wind, you know, so they can get hardened off. But before I do that, I want to show you the things I'm going to direct sow today. We're going to do some parsley, triple, triple curled parsley. I'm going to do some early wonder beets. I have a bad issue with beets. I have not been able to grow any, but I keep trying anyway. One day it will take. I have some marigolds. These are from the okra lady. Don't know what color they're going to be, but we're going to plant them out there. I'm going to probably plant them in one of the beds that already have some stuff so we can have some marigolds to protect them. I have some what are these carrots. Planting some more carrots out there. I'm going to actually put them in a container out there. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to plant them back in the ground. I want them in their own container so they can sit there as long as they want to. And I don't have to worry about them. But these are rainbow blend carrots. Then we have this Garden Sweet Burpless Hybrid Cucumber. I already have, I think, six or seven plants of cucumber that are ready to go in the garden. But I'm going to plant these right up in there with them. And I'm going to do some chives. So uh, I think I have some chives in a the container. They haven't came up yet. But I'm going to plant these directly. And I want to show you my labels. Y'all, I have been learning so much from Renee's Garden Channel. And um, I mean, other people probably already done this. But I've seen it on her channel. So I'm going to shout her out again. Thank you, Miss Renee. So... These are from the milk jugs, or the juice jugs, or the plastic containers. She was using them as labels, which is so smart, you know? And <laughs> so that's what I did with these. So thank you again, Ms. Renee. I've seen that on your channel, and I took that idea <laughs> and ran with it. So that's what I have to go and plant in my garden as well. You learn so much from different channels, so please go and check out other channels. And I mean, it's like a wealth of information. You learn so much from all these garden channels. All right, guys, I'm going to take y'all out for y'all can go and see my babies. All right. Look at them. They're like, yes. Now the sun was just out. I guess it went behind the cloud, but we're going to go out there. Now, like I said, it is in the high 50s, so it's not, it's not no hot sunny day we are going to have that next week we're going to be in the 80s yes we are you know i love my climate that i live in because i do not like snow no at all i don't like snow i don't like cold and uh so that's why i live in texas if i don't like texas weather then i can move somewhere else but i like that it gets hot here and you know can't do snow at all don't even like it <laughs> okay so we have a lot of good things going on now this was all in my bedroom 
yeah all of these plants have taken up half of my bedroom with all this but they are looking really really good i do have a shop light uh in my room but it only lights up two levels and so uh, i have to rotate my plants all the time usually through the night when i'm watching tv i'll rotate plants put some other ones up there in the morning when i wake up i put some other ones so that's what i'm doing you know we got some lemon basil this has got some flowers in there so this is not my only table y'all let me turn y'all over here oh yeah your girl has been growing in her room <laughs> these are my corn and then we have some things over here this is my nasturtium i'm getting ready to plant it in the ground some watermelon this is some sage i think it's sage this is cilantro these are all different type of flowers then we can come up here we have watermelon going on we have cucumbers tomatoes there's my little bell pepper and yes i do see it's time to do some little sprout side sprouts and you know some little leaves out to the side i'm excited i was nervous but now i'm excited and we have some what is this our butternut squash look at that that is really pretty lemongrass tomatoes tomatoes this one don't look like it wants to survive it said nope that's enough i don't think that's a tomato it might have been but um everything is not gonna live so that's why i plant a lot because i know sometimes they can't handle the outside or you know whatever reason they might be in a weak seed i don't know they have like runt animals and stuff like that that sometimes don't survive and they need to be able to survive this texas heat so sorry all of them won't live but i'm not gonna just like kill them <laughs> they have to pass on their own here is some sweet basil we have some uh spinach i'm trying to grow some spinach hopefully you know hopefully it works this time i'm gonna keep trying there's a couple marigolds in there these are all tomatoes with a nasturtium right here these are flowers and mint in here there's a tomato these are something i think some kind of pepper <laughs> but yeah it's pretty much you know it's a little breezy day it's in the 50s and uh i want them to get used to being outside and how it feels because like i said we're gonna be in the 80s next week and a lot of stuff going in the ground in pots and everything that i need to put them in so they can stay outside and i can start growing a couple more things in my room for a little bit um i do have a question so okay these are this is my aloe plant which has turned into three but it used to be really really huge and then the frost happened and then it the leaves like you can see a lot of them died off i cut them away all the ones that had turned and everything so um my question is it should scalp over and i'll be able to plant these and these go on but what kind of things i need to do like as for fertilizer for my aloe do i use fertilizer i know a lot of people i know fifi's channel um, she has aloe but so do i put any fertilizer with my aloe or i just put it in the soil and call it a day i need to know right now i'm letting the roots and everything dry out because it had a lot of rain going on they were in a bucket and they soaked up so much water and i know aloes don't need they need water but not as much as it was getting it was getting waterlogged so i cut all that part away and i was kind of letting it dry out but let me know what i can do to really get these aloes going again and um anyway guys i am going to get off of here enjoy the outside 
go in the garden go and put all those things I need to plant in the garden and winter sow those okra so y'all have a wonderful and blessed day I will see y'all next time in the garden